Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I will be showing you this cool cyberpunk glitch effect. So I was working with Joby recently on like a Spider-Man Halloween thing and I came up with this little animation that I kind of am in love with. A couple prerequisites to this effect is having deep glow from Video Copilot. That plugin has the easiest chromatic aberration to use. And I'm willing to spend $25 on never having to manually create chromatic aberration again. So if we look at our footage, we've got my roommate Manoa looking real spooky. I'm going to single out his face because since that's the only skin showing, I kind of want it to look like the clothes are on this glitchy demon. So let's bring this shit into After Effects. So first things first, regardless if you're animating a person, an object, whatever you want this effect to be on, you need to mask it out. So we will frame by frame just mask out Manoa's face, and if we watch it back, it kind of looks like that guy from the Power Rangers. Will, within you I see great strength and durability. For that, I endow you with the power of the mighty Mastodon. I won't let you down, Zordon. We need to pre-compose this now because we want to apply effects onto this, but keep our main composition clean. So we will right click, pre-compose. So this first part is very similar to my favorite Star Wars hologram tutorial, which I highly recommend you watch. It's a completely different effect than this one, but it's very helpful. He has actually provided a download link to some glitches, a link to his channel, his video, and these glitches down below. They're free online, use them. And so we'll start with glitch one. We are gonna drop that over Manoa's face. We're gonna set it to hard light. And then to preserve the transparency, in other words, only have this effect applying to Manoa's face, we will click this little square which preserves the transparency. And so now the effect will only be affected where pixels are, so like his face. Now to spice it up a little, let's create an adjustment layer, put a displacement map on that. This gives us an option to pick a texture, and so we will select glitch two. We're gonna turn the horizontal setting up to 30. And then if we type in turbulent displacement, we will drag turbulent displacement underneath of the displacement map. We're gonna set it to horizontal displacement, set the amount from 100 to 30, and then this next setting, right now I don't forget, but I'm showing you on screen, set that to around 35 to 40 to 50 if you're feeling crazy. And now, if we watch that back, this displacement map that we've now picked the second glitch, that glitch animation is now going to be displaced and affecting Manoa's face. And we need to also set glitch number three to silhouette alpha. So now that we've blended these three glitches into Manoa's face, and now the next part's where it becomes more cyber punky and glitchy. Let's hop back into our main composition. So we're out of our pre-comp. If we come up to our effects and presets and type in deep glow, let's drag that onto our uh, glitchy face. You'll automatically see that it gets a little brighter. And if you look at the effect controls panel, you will see an option for chromatic aberration. Let's drop down that menu and check the enable box. And this is my new favorite thing. Is this just this easy to use chromatic aberration? So I selected red and blue. If you hold down alt and click on the amount of the chromatic aberration, I typed in, I think, wiggle 10 comma 0.10. And what we're telling After Effects is to wiggle that amount up and down. And so if we watch that back, you can now see the chromatic aberration kind of flaring up and flaring down. But I didn't want it to end there. I almost thought like that didn't do enough for this crazy demon glitch. So I, I had tried something I didn't do before, which I think is what sells this effect. Let's take the face that we've now animated a lot and duplicate it. Let's animate the one on the bottom. So if I hit S to drop down the scaling options, if I hold down Alt again and click on the scaling keyframe, let's type in wiggle 10 comma 10 or something like that. You have to play around with these numbers a lot. Now, not only is the chromatic aberration kind of flaring up and flaring down, this duplicate face is scaling randomly constantly, which creates the super sick like <laughs> And so we might be done now because I think this looks really cool. But since we have so many flashing colors in the scene because of the chromatic aberration, I want that to blend into his shirt in the background a little. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Go to your effects and presets and type in curves and drag that onto the adjustment layer. The next part's super easy. I just created a curves keyframe and every single time the chromatic aberration started to change colors, I would change the curves to one of the three aberration colors. I copied that sequence of like three different colors and just paste it throughout the timeline. And so if we watch it back, the adjustment layer now makes it look like the chromatic aberration is affecting the scene a little more and it's like flashing. And that 
is the cyberpunk Halloween glitchy effect. Let me know if you thought this tutorial was sick or terrible. You guys know I'm on a quest to have the most bougie Instagram ever. So, you can follow me and that's where you will find the whole little Spider-Man film. And of course, it's time to throw it to our sponsors. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're like me and you just came to Los Angeles and you want to show the world what you've got. It'll be a lot easier with a Squarespace website because they have award-winning templates that you can throw your videography or your photos into. So essentially you can use Squarespace as a portfolio showing off all of your work, making you look official and slick. Now, if you're a busy person like me, you could really use Squarespace's scheduling features. You can make your schedule public and let people pick you on a schedule and appointment based basis. You know what I mean. You can make your schedule public and people can sign up for when your sessions happen. And lastly, Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed. They've been supporting my channel for two years now. I love Squarespace and you guys have been supporting them through my link, which rocks. Keep doing that. 10% off your first website or domain. Top link in the description or squarespace.com slash Will Carmack. And as always, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.